So in this example, I'm going to import this idle animation uh, to to the mannequin, to the uh, Unreal Engine's Unreal Engine's mannequin. <laughs> so first, I have to go to the manne mannequin skeleton. So it's content mannequin character mesh in the content browser. And here I have to right click the mannequin, create and create rig. So I click this, I keep all of these options selected as they are, and then I click OK. So as you can see, the rig has been created. Then I have to go to the mannequin skeleton view. In the retarget manager section, there is the setup rig part. And here I have to select the mannequin skeleton rig. So I click it and I can see that it's applied. So I just save and then I go to uh, the Peregrine's character skeleton. So in my case, this is Chim uh, I imported Chimera. So I go to Peregrine Chimera, characters, heroes, Chimera. <laughs> meshes and I have my camera skeleton. That's a pretty long path, but okay. So here I do the same that what I just did to the mannequin. So I go to, uh, I click the skeleton, camera skeleton, and in the retarget uh, manager tab, I go to the setup brick section and I select the mannequin skeleton rig. I have to make sure that all of the source and target names are the same. Uh, if not, just adjust accordingly, but in my case, they're all the same. So I save. And then the last thing that I have to do is to actually import the animation. So uh, I go to Chimera's animations, which are under, uh, again, the full path is content, Peregrine Chimera, characters, heroes, Chimera. And I go to animations and I want to import that idle animation. That animation name is Idle Relaxed A. And I go to, I, I right click it and I go to retarget anim assets and then duplicate anim assets and retarget. So here on the left side, I select the mannequin skeleton because both of them have the same rig. So they're compatible. And I just click retarget. Okay, so now as you notice, I have two animations. Uh, and the last thing that I have to do is to replace the default mannequin animation, the idle animation with the Chimera one. So I'll just go ahead and uh, actually first I'm going to copy or move those animations to the correct folder. So it's just easier to manage. So I go to mannequin, move here. And again, I select by clicking, by holding shift and left clicking them. Um, and I move those two animations to the animations folder. Okay, so now that they're here, I have all of my mannequins animation. And actually you can see if you left, left click that uh, idle relaxed A animation, that this is the same animation as Camero has. All right, but now the problem is that I still have the default animation, right? So if I hit play, I can see that the mannequin still uses the uh, the default idle animation. So again, I just have to replace it. How do I do this? I just go to the uh, third person idle run 3D here. I left click it and I can see if I drag this, uh, this green square to the left, I'll see my character slowing down and then entering the idle animation. And if I scroll it right or drag it right, then it's going to be running. So I don't want this animation. I want that new Chimera animation, right? So I select uh, this square here and I click uh, right button, right mouse button, and I have the animation selector here. So I can see that the third person idle is currently selected. So I click this and Oh no, idle zero pose is only present. And this pose is just, uh, the character isn't really moving. It just has the pose, but it's not moving. And what is even weirder though, is that here on the right in the asset browser tab, you will see that the relaxed pose is here, 
but for some reason it's not listed over here. So, and it's because the uh, additive settings are incorrect, are not are not compatible. So I have to change the additive anim type to no additive. And now when I save and I go back to the uh, idle run 2D, I'll see in this list that the relax animation is present. So I select it. And when I drag the green square to the left, you'll see that it's here. So now let's turn on the game. Let's play in the game. Ta-da! It is applied. So that's pretty much it. But if you try to move around, you'll see that the animation is pretty, is not really fluid. Like the mannequin is still using the default run animation, which doesn't really have the same vibe as uh, as this idle one. So let's again, just for practice, import the running animation from, uh, from Chimera. So again, I go to content, Paragon Chimera. In the content browser, I go to content, Paragon Chimera, uh, characters, heroes, Chimera, animations. Okay, so um, I think it's called travel. Yes. So now I want to import the travel animation. So I can, which one is the right one? Travel mode forward, I think. Yes, this is the animation I want to import or, well, retarget is the word that Unreal Engine uses. So I'm gonna right click it, the animation, click retarget, duplicate anim assets at retarget. And that's the same thing that I did for the idle animation. Retarget, I can see that it's applied to my mannequin. <laughs> it's actually running pretty funny <laughs> because it doesn't have the access that Chimera has. Um, again, I'm going to move this to the mannequin folder. Same thing I did before, animations. I don't have to do that, but it's just, you know, um, easier, I guess, to manage. So again, I'm going to go to the blend space, the third, third person I will run 2D. And I want to replace the run because the run is currently the default one. So I'm going to again, right click this uh, square here and I'm going to replace it. But, uh, oh no, it's actually present. I thought it wasn't. So this is the Chimera's animation. I click it and it's here. And then when I save and I play my game, I can see that it's applied. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's the easiest way for a beginner to, to import uh, Paragon Paragon animation <laughs> into the mannequin. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the content. And um, I'll see you next time. My mic is malfunctioning.